Two teams are with us on the field of play, led out by referee John Brooks from Leicestershire, wearing a luminous yellow shirt, black shorts and socks, and John Brooks blows the game underway. Could be a big opportunity tonight. Would certainly be a huge result if they could get a rare victory at Stamford Bridge. And Palmer brings it in, carrying it with his left foot from the right side into the centre circle and clips it back out to the far touchline. Uh, Gusto with a low ball, cleared by Botman, only as far as Palmer. It's in. It's trickled in away from Dubravka into the bottom left corner of the goal. A snapshot from Palmer, edge of the area. And Chelsea have taken an early lead. It might have got a nick on the way through, possibly off Nicholas Jackson. But it is a Chelsea goal. And after six minutes, they lead Newcastle 1 0. Burn on to Gordon. Comes in off the left wing, but dispossessed Anthony Gordon. And Malo Gusto for Chelsea. Now Gallagher to Palmer. Back in onto his left, and he's gone for the effort, which is comfortably saved by Dubravka. Low down at the near side. Share in the centre circle. Could he hit this Fabian Share? He's got to hit it. Off balance. Pressure from Jackson from the side and into the stand. It's nice from Joe Willock, but a sliding challenge from Enzo Fernandez wins it back for Chelsea. Then Dan Byrne makes a tackle, and Bruno on for Longstaff out to Livermento, but Kukurea intercepts. Longstaff wins it back, and then Kukurea wins it off him again. Sterling getting away, got a couple of challenges, and then Jackson with a low shot. They tried to knock Sterling off the ball and off balance, but he carried it well. Jackson's effort low down from the goal. Almiron runs over it, Murphy curls it in, and it's headed over the top. It's Isak at the back of the box, Petrovic not tested, but Newcastle creating another opportunity there. Isak got underneath the ball and got the header over the bar. The final ball it wasn't quite right this time, Chelsea have given it away again, Byrne helps it forwards, but it's won by Caicedo, and now Willock trying to get it back and lift it up towards Longstaff, Chelsea header, has I seen Bruno get it, now they might be away, Isak into the penalty area, tries oh, to pick his spot, good goal. and does pick his spot, it's a fantastic finish, and they are level driven into the bottom right corner of the goal after Newcastle won it back from Chelsea in midfield and with three minutes to go to half time Alexander Isak moves on to 16 goals for the season it's Chelsea 1 Newcastle United 1 uh, first shot on target and a goal Chelsea messing about with it in midfield they had two or three of occasions where they could knock the ball forward they try to be clever they lose it and it's a great finish it's a real real smart finish and Isak just had the space on that far side of the box took a touch with his right and then was able to wrap his right boot around it and place it into the bottom corner Palmer with a nice turn he's working in what seems like millimeters now with Gusto, digs out across, looking for Gallagher, headed down, struck for Sterling, they've got to block the shot, and Dubravka does, gets everything behind it, Raheem Sterling with a right effort. effort inside the penalty area, to fortunately effort. the keeper was there. Yeah, it's a poor effort, gets half a yard, straight at the keeper, got to be doing better. Sterling getting some stick from the Newcastle fans as the half-time whistle goes. 1-1 on BBC Radio Newcastle. Early goal for Chelsea after six minutes. Palmer's shot deflecting in off Jackson, but Alexander Isak, John Anderson, with a very well-taken equaliser. Yeah, great finish. Look, we know the quality that Isak's got. It's a smash and finish. It was a first shot on, on target. Keeper at full stretch was never, ever getting there. Yeah. Finally poised at half time. Second half is about 45 seconds old, but there's been no action, and it's still 1 1 at Stamford Bridge here on BBC Radio Newcastle and NUFC TV. Now the ball is on the left wing with Chelsea back into central midfield. Newcastle, Dubravka, Livermento, Cher, Botman, Byrne, Longstaff, Bruno, Willock. 
Almiron, Murphy, Isak, and here is Alexander Isak, strong play, and Almiron into the penalty area, tries to dig out the shot, and Petrovic forced into action to push the ball over the top, it was a powerful hit from Almiron, and Newcastle have a corner. Yet again, Chelsea give it away in the middle of the park, trying to play little balls, blind, people with their back to play, good hit, save you'd expect the keeper to make, though straight at him. Gusto to Palmer, inside away from Byrne, Sterling taking on Botman, Raheem Sterling into the penalty area, but it's wide of the near side of Dubravka's goal. Yeah, never fancied it, did he really? Fernandez, Palmer with a hit, and Cole Palmer restores Chelsea's lead, space at the edge of the area, and a powerful left foot shot into the bottom right corner of Dubravka's goal. Chelsea 2, Newcastle United 1. Well, it's past Dubravka before he even moves. Got to close him down, got to get close to him. It's a decent hit, but can't stand off people. He's hit it well enough. As I say, it's past Dubravka before he even moves. Looks like there's a big gap for him to hit yeah. on the near side of the goal, and he'll claim an assist, and he's got the second goal. Two blue shirts with him. Challenged by Caicedo. It's kept in by Almiron on the line. Trying to win a corner, Newcastle. They've got it back to Burn. Now Bruno, corner of the area. Isak just outside the box. Oh, no, off target, Isak. And he knows that was a decent opportunity. Chelsea defensive line is on the edge of the box. Almiron runs over the ball. Murphy delivers it. Dan Burn! Well, Dan Byrne got up really well in the centre of the Chelsea penalty area and he's hit the deck and he looks like he's hurt. His header went out of play on the far side. Um, he was on the back of Axel Dizassi. Appears he may have landed awkwardly. Longstaff back to Murphy, on for Bruno, it's good. Wide again for Longstaff. First time ball sent in to the back post to Willock, who heads it down. Can Liveramento get there? He's had a swipe at it, and it's gone across the box off a deflection. And Chelsea away, and Jackson gives Botman the slip. And there's three Chelsea players in the attack, five defenders back. Jackson edge of the area. Now Gallagher. Mudrick gets through, Mudrick around Dubravka, and that's 3-1 to Chelsea on the counter-attack as they look for an equaliser. They were hit by Chelsea, who broke, and Mudrick took it on, got it away from one defender around Martin Dubravka, and just as he did at that end of Stamford Bridge in the League Cup, he scores against Newcastle United. And with 14 minutes to play, it's a long way back from 3-1 down. Well, it's a good finish. Good feet, wasn't it? Kept his balance really, really well. Challenged Murphy, but Newcastle still have the ball. Miley for Murphy again. He's got away from his man. Into the penalty area. Murphy, oh my word! What a hit! That is outrageous from Murphy. It's a stunner. Gave his man the slip outside the box. Kukurea it was. Drove into the penalty area. And he Ooh. absolutely levered it. Some strike. Walloped it into the net beyond Petrovic. Now additional time will be interesting. 90 minutes are up. And it's Chelsea 3, Newcastle United 2. That is some hit. Kukurea trying to pinch it. Just gets rolled. Is making sure they take the throw from the correct position. The Chelsea bench want the final whistle. So do their supporters. Cher swings it over to this near side. Anderson header on. It's gone behind. What Goal is kick. it? Goal kick. It's the final it. whistle. The late, brilliant strike from Jacob Murphy. Couldn't give Newcastle the platform they needed to get an equaliser. And they didn't really threaten the Chelsea goal in the additional period. It's another defeat away from home. And ninth in the Premier League this season. And they've lost to the team directly below them, though they haven't dropped a place. But Chelsea have cut the gap to a point. And Newcastle still three points 
away from the European positions. Level at half-time, Chelsea two goals in the second half, despite the Murphy response, Newcastle are beaten here in West London. It's finished on BBC Radio Newcastle. Chelsea three, Newcastle United two.